So here we have a, a SAR image acquired over uh, Corsica and Sardinia. And basically, what we see is that we have, a, a, in the contextual information, wind blowing from the east. So if I add the wind information estimated from the SAR image, we can see here the, the eastern winds, which are accelerated in the straits between Corsica and Sardinia. Mm -hmm. And also some shadowing effects, which can appear here as, as um, dark patches. And you can also see some modulation here, looking as uh, swirls. They are actually coming from a uh, current, surface current effect. Okay. Um, so if we zoom on these shadowing areas, we can see actually that there is a, these funny features, which looks like a potential oil slick. And even with this weird loop, mm -hmm. and if we add the ship detection, which is uh, done with the SAR, we can see that there are two bright echoes here, which are actually detected also in the vicinity of this oil slick. And we can also add another ancillary information, which is the AIS. And it is matching with these two echoes, so this is interesting. And if we are actually looking at all the ship, all the ships that have been passing in the vicinity of this pollution, so here I'm drawing a gate, and okay. I can I can see that there are three trajectories, and one of them is really matching the okay. trajectory of the oil spill, and you can also interestingly see that the oil, um, the loop is matching with the IIS, and. Uh, this typical uh, behavior is actually uh, quite classical when the ships are polluting. Okay.